okay the first question uh, when an item is imported customs duty of 22% is charged on its import value so 22% is the tax what is the value of an item of import value 8000 rupees after customs duty is paid so the value of the item is 8000 22% tax will be added to that so we have to find the value after the duty is added so how to take it there are two methods first we can calculate the tax 8000 into 22% 22% is the tax then two zeros get cancelled answer is Twenty two times zero, zero, twenty two times eight. Let's multiply twenty two times eight. Eight into two, sixteen, seventeen. So this is the tax. One thousand seven hundred sixty. So this is only the tax so we, to calculate the total amount to find the total amount to be paid total amount you have to add this amount with 8000 you have to add both 8000 and 1760 then it is 9760 So this is uh, the first method of solving that. Then there is another method. Uh, this is method 2. So here we had to calculate tax separately and we had to add that later into that uh, into the price of the imported item. So directly we can find the total value, total amount by considering percentage like this we can directly find the total amount like this percentage tax percentage is 22 so that is an additional amount we need to pay that is an additional amount we need to pay that means we have to pay the total value of the item that is 100% plus the tax 20% then the total value of the item is 122%. So, total amount can be directly taken by multiplying the price 8000 by 122. How did we get this 122? By adding 122. 100 is the actual amount, actual price. 22 is the tax percentage. So, two zeros get cancelled. Now, we have to multiply uh, 18 to 122 so let's multiply 122 by 8 8 times 2 16 1 remaining 8 times 2 16 plus this remainder 1 17 again 1 remaining 8 times 1 8 8 plus remainder 1 9 976 Then we had a zero here. Can you remember? I just multiplied this by eight. So I had a zero, then put that zero. See, I can get the same answer in one step. So when the tax is given, if they are asking for the total amount, directly you can add that to 100 and consider or write the percentage as 122. Or else you can separately multiply it by 22% and then later add that 8000. Okay, question 2. It is a geometric question. Uh, we have to find the value of x based on the information given in the figure. So this is a triangle and they have marked these two symbols. These two sides are equal. 
A, B, and A, C are equal. Then you know the opposite side to these equal uh, opposite angles to these opposite sides, they are also equal. So in a, tri in a triangle, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So these two angles, angle here and angle here, these two are equal. So if this is 2x, this is also 2x. Then all three interior angles are given in terms of x. This is 2x plus this angle here is also 2x. Then this interior angle that is x. So sum of all these three is 180. What is the geometrical theorem? Sum of three interior angles sum of three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees then we can add these x terms i get 5x that is equivalent to 150 to find the value of x divide both sides by 5 180 divided by 5 is 36 degrees Okay, third question. Uh, we have to factorize this. 9x squared. 9x squared is a square term. It is a perfect square. Minus 4. 4 is also a square number. Perfect square. So we can apply difference of two squares for that. There is a theory. We can factorize two squares given like this as a minus b and a plus b these are the factors of these two square numbers so any uh, two square numbers given like this you should have minus here then we can factorize like this so what is the square root of 9x square it is 3x square root of 4 is 2 then we can factorize this as 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2. So this is the factorization. Fourth question. The arc length of a sector of a circle of radius 7 cm is 11 cm. Arc length is given as 11. Radius of the sector is 7. What fraction of the circle is the sector? So arc length of a sector L, the equation is theta over 360 into 2 phi r. Theta is the sector angle. Arc length is given as 11 centimeters. Sector angle, we have to find the sector angle. Fraction of the circle means Indirectly, they are asking this theta sector angle because we know full circle covers 360 degrees. So, sector, sector of a circle covers a portion of that, that means theta that is defined as sector angle. So, theta, let's find theta substitute. 22 over 7 for 5, radius is 7. Now we can cancel 7, 7 get cancelled. Then 2 times 1, 2 times 180. Now subject theta. For that, these values in denominator, 180 is in denominator that is taken to numerator 22 here is in numerator you have to shift that to denominator now we can cancel 11 times 1 11 times 2 2 times 1 here 2 times 90 now it is clear theta sector angle is 90 degrees but the question is we have to find the fraction of the circle of the sector. So full circle is 360 degrees. 
this sector is just 90 degrees so this is the fraction they want so we can simplify this one we can have the simplest fraction i can cut two zeros and then when i cancel both numerator and denominator by 9 i get this as one fourth so fraction of the circle is one fourth okay fifth question find the magnitude of abc angle we have to find this angle based on the information okay so these two angles are given 35 here and 40 these two angles are given Then what can you say about this angle here? We know sum of three interior angles of any triangle is 180. So when I consider EDC triangle, in EDC triangle, we can say we have a interior angle 38 plus the other interior angle 40 plus the third one is unknown what is it ecd this angle here ecd sum of these three is equal to 108 okay then uh, we can add these two 38 plus 40 is 78 78 plus ECD is equal to 180. Then we can subject ECD that is 180 minus 78. Answer is 102 degrees. So this is ECD. Then these two are vertically opposite angles. The two angles I have marked in red color, they are vertically opposite. Vertically opposite angles are equal in magnitude. So when we have two straight lines like this intersecting at a point, these two are vertically opposite. ACB angle is vertically opposite to this. So ACB is equal to ECD. ECD is 102 degrees. So ACB is 102. Once again, I can apply the above theorem for ABC triangle to that separate triangle. ABC triangle is here. For that, I can apply the sum of three interior angles equals to 180 theorem. There I have ACB angle which is 102 degrees. Then I have CAB this angle here. It is given as 20. That is given as 20. Then the unknown angle that is what we want. This angle over here. What is it? CBA. It is given in the question as ABC. Same thing, I am going to write it as ABC. Sum of those three is equal to 180. Now add these two. That is 122 plus ABC is equal to 180. From here you can subject ABC, uh, subtract 122 from 180. Answer is 58. So the angle is 58 degrees. Okay, question number 6. We have to simplify 6x to the power 4, y to the power 2 is given. You have to divide this by 3x square y. So write this division like this as a fraction. Then you can cancel easily. 3 times 1, 3 times 2. Then here in denominator I have 2x terms. In numerator I have 
four x terms so two x terms get cancelled then x square is remaining in denominator i have one y term i have to cancel one y term in numerator so when one is removed from two remainder is one then the answer is 2 x square y. This is the answer. 3 got cancelled, x squared got cancelled, y got cancelled. In numerator, I had 2 here x square and y, 1y term. This is the answer.